New merch! New merch! Sheesh. 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 A uh, new form of grinding, by the way. Ever heard of this? Clear out my feet. <laughs> <laughs> what sticks in here, by the way? Oh, it could be this leg right here. Oh, oh, this oh, yeah. Guys, this is my favorite design yet. I, fuck, I'm in love with these garments. They're incredible quality. And the last drop sold out in like two hours. So who knows? It might be sold out already. I don't know. These but if it's not, go to co-official.com to, to get some. Thank you so much. They're really awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so I think we've learned by now from doing these videos together that old reality shows are really messed up. Okay, this one is called Hot or Not. Okay. So this ran for one season in 2003 okay. before it was canceled due to low ratings, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is an intro to the show. Each week, 32 hopefuls compete for the chance to be launched to stardom as they face our panel of experts, supermodel Rachel Hunter. If I had a boyfriend, you would like totally try and come on to him. Have you ever done that? World-renowned fashion designer Randolph Duke. You know, you gotta be careful. Spandex can only stretch so far. Wait, that's really mean. And I'm sorry. I'm laughing because, like, how was this Allowed? acceptable on TV? So this is the entire concept of the show. They walk on stage, and they just get judged whether they're hot or not. And the judges can say whatever they want. What? The search for America's <laughs> sexiest people. <laughs> That's pretty insane. It's so absurd. International heartthrob Lorenzo Lamas. The comedy club's down the street, bro. <laughs> what? Owned. Yeah, I don't ever I don't really get that one. Maybe he maybe he thinks comedians are hot. Yeah. Yeah, you're I know I do. Oh. I've always thought that Pete Davidson was a <laughs> <guy. laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. God, I just got owned. I actually don't think that. You should be a judge on this show. You're hotter. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Okay, so we know the concept of the show now. Yep. We've met the three judges, mm -hmm. right? One of them is a fashion designer, one of them is a supermodel, and the other one is just an international heartthrob. That's yeah. what they said. I don't really know who gives that title to someone. I... When do you become an international heartthrob? Maybe like Seventeen Magazine. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Who is an international heartthrob to you? Besides you, I feel like, I feel like people would say like Ryan Gosling, right? Yeah, okay, that's fair. I don't think he. He's an actor though, he's not an international, like, this guy's a professional international I heartthrob. I don't know that he's a professional <laughs> international heartthrob. He travels around the world just being a heartthrob. Throbbing. He travels around the world and throbs. <laughs> I hate that word. Uh, let's learn a little bit how the show works. We have divided the nation into four hot zones, each one representing a different geographical region. Tonight, we focus on the Northeast, hot zone one. That's weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, it's a really weird way to divide it. <laughs> By hot zones? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, like when, like American Idol is just like, oh, this is the Los Angeles episode. And if like you're close to Los Angeles and they're not coming to your town, you just go to the Los Angeles episode. They don't have like talent zones. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It is, it is kind of weird. I think they thought that they were like doing something, <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know? Hot zones. I have, an, I have an idea. Instead of saying cities, let's say hot zones. Yeah. Over the next four weeks, the top contenders from each hot zone will face our panel of experts. No detail will go overlooked, and no criticism will be left unsaid. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best idea. <laughs> also, no detail will go overlooked. Really? You're going to get to know these people? You're going to get to know them? <laughs> yeah, as much as you can from, you know, 20 feet away. And while they're not speaking or, like, showing anything exactly. besides their bodies. Exactly. And their faces. And oh, no oh. criticism will be left unsaid. Ugh. This is kind of like TikTok. Yeah, 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 it kind of is. <laughs> like, this is what TikTok is now. That's a good point. That is a good point. You go to the comment section. It's brutal. It's rough. The average comment section on TikTok is bullying at its absolute peak. Yeah, no, it is. So let's get started by meeting our experts. Fashion designer to the stars, Randolph Duke. Supermodel, Rachel Hunter. She I wonder, get up on that stage. I wonder if she... You know? <laughs> My God. No, we can't. <laughs> You're doing exactly what I'm, the show... I'm mean. Guys, get used to it. You know, I kind of thought, like, before filming this, I was like, this might actually be, you know, kind of uh, a weird one for us because we're going to end up doing what the judges 
are doing. We're going to end up being like, that guy's hot, or she's not hot, or whatever. Yeah. But that's the whole point of this. It's fucked up to do that. It is fucked up. And I think we should approach this kind of just as bystanders. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, we're not the judges here. Yeah, we'll be completely bipartisan. She loves when I use big words. I do. An international heartthrob, Lorenzo Lamas. <laughs> Fuck this guy. He's not serious with this. <laughs> okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's dive into some of this show Let's here. Dive. Let's take a look at the results of that pre-judging round right now. A 30-year-old massage therapist from Chicago, Illinois, Candace Boyle. <laughs> what do you think? No, no, we can't do that. We can't do it. Let's just let it play. What did the judges think about Candace? <laughs> not. That's what this show she is. She literally, she walked up, stood there for three <laughs> seconds. She stood there for three seconds. <laughs> it's so fucked. Also, like, she's up there. She's trying. This, and keep in mind, this is in 2003. Like, the peak of reality TV. There's probably millions of people watching this show. And she gets up there and gets judged I in can't three I just, seconds. I can't believe it's those three that get to call the shots. I know. Like, it's... It, besides Lorenzo Lamas. Lamas. Whatever, L Lamus? Lorenzo Lamas, <laughs> more like. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Candace. A 20 year old city employee from Yonkers, New York. Yeah, I love walk. that. I love that they are saying this stuff like it's at all relevant to what's going on with yeah. the show. A 30 year old city employee from Yonkers. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking forget that info. No one's listening. They're just trying to figure out if he's hot yeah. or not. I mean, this walk, he's killing it. He's a 30-year-old YouTuber from Calgary, Alberta, and he owns a company. So hot. Thanks. Okay, how about we say, this is not what we think. How about we get into the minds of the judges, and okay. we say what we think the judges are going to do. Okay, I like that. I like that kind of indirect, because we're not the bad ones. Well, the we're judges not, are the bad. The, the producers of the I'm show are the bad I'm not saying I'm. This has nothing to do with our personal opinion. Right. We have to because I probably would have voted that other girl. I would have said she was hot. But we're gonna go in with I'm the gonna judges. Say, they're gonna say he's hot. I'm gonna say that they're gonna say he's not. And the verdict on Nick. <laughs> not. Nick's confidence was there. Um, probably has he's never found it again since this moment. Exactly. But it was there exactly. five seconds before he walked on stage. It might have been too high. That might have been his problem. You think? Yeah. A 25-year-old executive office manager from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They're going to say she's hot. Okay. What do the judges think? Hot! Which, okay, she is. She's hot. I'm honestly having a hard time finding the difference between her and the first lady that they said was not. Well, this actually might be a good segue because uh, we can get into how they actually judge it oh. here. What exactly is it that makes a person hot? Well, we are looking for three basic components. Face, body, and overall sex appeal. So there you go. Face, so that's body, what makes someone hot. Face, body, overall sex appeal. Face, body, and overall sex appeal. Are you oozing appeal. endorphins? And they're getting this by the, th the three seconds that the person gets <laughs> okay. to walk on stage. I they guess. get to see. I mean, I guess you can see their face and their body, but the sex appeal thing, I feel like well, interesting. Our experts will be scoring our competitors on each of those factors using a scale of one to 10. So experts, if you're ready, Let's have a look at our first competitor right now. A 25-year-old executive. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so yeah, the next round is the bikini, like the swimsuit round. <laughs> That's what they're judging. That's why they're judging now face, body. Before, I think it was just what's the vibe, you know? Okay. Yes or no. Now it's face, face body, body, sex, sex appeal. appeal. Office manager from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Melinda Griffith. Randolph. All right, well, I'm glad you skipped the Baywatch audition and headed this way. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> As in, like, you sh like, you're hot, I think. Okay. You should have been on land. Baywatch. Didn't land. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta work on these jokes, dude. <laughs> yeah. Listen, uh, Baywatch are here. You're gonna need to firm that body up just a little bit. <laughs> you're fucking joking right now. <laughs> this used to be okay. Wait, that's... Awful. I know. I know. Like, she's a nice body. <laughs> I know. She's gonna have to firm it up a little bit, though. 
right. <laughs> You're right. Thank you. Can I take notes? Would firm, you guys mind if I take firm notes? Firm it up. Firm it up. I know you guys like these voluptuous packages, but I saw a little too Woo! much jiggle. Could you turn around for me? Oh my God. Oh Cody, my. this is awful. This was only 17 years ago. It's 18 years ago. Whatever, 18. Whatever. Who did the caps? Um, actually, they were bonded by a cosmetic dentist in Too Atlanta. Too big. Gotta take them down. Oh my God! This is insane. This is terrible. They really were serious when they said no criticism is going to be left unsaid. This is horrible. And also, like, why would you put yourself on the show? Why? I think you have a really sultry face, and I actually like your makeup tonight. But I think those teeth are too big. Hey, I just how think about they're some too scores? Big. He's fucking ugly. This motherfucker, <laughs> right here. Yeah. He's gonna sit here and tell that girl who's totally, perfectly, normally hot that she's too ugly. This. Fuck face. Yeah. Look yeah. at the hairline. Yeah. Full cool hairline. Yeah, well, you're balding, so. I'm pissed. <laughs> 7.5, I deducted for the teeth. Sorry, but she's got a sultry look. The body, I'm sorry, I gave her a 7.5. She needed to firm it up just a little bit. Overall, sex appeal, though, a nine. She's a sexy woman. Why why are you celebrating this? We did it. We did it, guys. Nine. Thank you for, for watching at home, everyone. Thank you Mom. so much for watching me get fucking. Slime dunked on, this is horrible. I feel you, you've got a great sultry look, as Randolph said. Um, there's something that's just a little bit off with it, whether it's a little hard, I, I'm not quite sure. So I give you a five on the face. She's pretty, she's prettier than you, Rachel. This is horrible. And how about a score for the body? The body, I give a, um, a four. But I think overall sex appeal, I think you're very, very sexy and you know how to use your body really, really well. So I give you an 8.5 on that. Regardless of how much it jiggles. I just, I don't understand. Like, she's like, you're a four. Your body's a four. Also, what the fuck? Body's a four, face is a five, but like, you're super sexy. Yeah. It makes I, zero sense. I don't know. I, how could you ever feel okay with doing this? Like, I don't even think back then that this... Like they're totally, nothing is wrong with this in their eyes. Like you can tell they're sitting out there they're like, yeah, I don't know, it's too jiggly, it's not working, you, know, you get horse teeth. It's not really working for me, four out of 10. Imagine saying that no. now. Like, Imagine saying, looking someone's face someone, yeah. And saying, ah, four out of 10. Yeah, no, that's, it's You get awful. punched in the face. Let's see what Lorenzo yeah, lame what Lorenz. says. Um, I, I give your sex appeal as a 9.9 .9 because of the way you're coming out here, you know? Lorenzo's taking the old, uh, you know, compliment sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> you know, start yeah. with a positive, yeah. and then something you could work on. Yep. Yeah. Sandwich with another positive. Pro con pro. Compliment sandwich. Mm -hmm. I love your face. I'd like you to take both your hands and just pick up your hair. I want to see those cheekbones. She's so pretty. Yeah, she is. I'm gonna score on the face. That's a nine point five for me. Okay. Maybe ending. I think with... I'm in love with Florence. <laughs> yeah, you know he's the best so far. <laughs> Do they fuck at that? Man? Probably. It's hot in here. Okay. Yeah. That's the so, idea. I'm saving the, the I'm saving the body for last. It's an eight point seven. Okay. And Why is he getting so granular on this? The I, rest of them were just like nine. Like she was five. like four, five. Yeah. He's. It's an it's an eight point seven. Let me explain why it's not an eight point six. Well, five, Lorenzo right? takes his craft seriously, <laughs> yeah. and he's nice, and I. I respect him. Okay, so you so said far. you said before that this makes you a little bit sad, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's watch something that's going to make us even more sad, and that's the fact that they include talking head interviews with people that get voted not. Oh, good. Yeah, this will this will make us feel good. It's not worth it, you know. Not worth working up, spending all that time and energy for nothing just to get this. I'm just gonna have to pick my uh, my pride off the floor and. Suck it in a little bit and go home, yeah. Stop, that's really sad. I like that. I really don't like that. I feel really bad for George. I'm sorry. But, um, but it's all right. Fine, I know I'm hot. All the guys love me in Chicago. That's Why did so they, they even called it a hot, not casualty? I mean, it's like they're just trying to go for the most fucked up show ever. No, this is horrible. Would you say this is worse than Moment of Truth? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because moment of truth is all about things that people can control. Yeah. This is just mean. Did we just, did we not give a fuck about feelings in two thousand three? You know, not. it's completely 
reversed yeah. on its head. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's watch the next contestant in the swim swimwear round. A 21-year-old student from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Sean Cassidy. You know, Sean, do you lift weights? <laughs> <laughs> that actually was good. That was good. Oh I'm God. a fucking Lorenzo yeah, fan. Yeah, we both love... We're Lorenzo stands. Dude, I'm sorry for calling you lame ass. I know it's pronounced Lamas. Or, or Lamas or whatever. Lamas. Lamas, whatever. Your face is definitely a, your best feature. I, You know, I'd say about an 8.9 on that face. Oh, right there. <laughs> say about, a, about an 8.7 on the body, only because you probably could do a few less bench presses, you know? <laughs> See? He's a good guy, you know? He's like, you're too buff. Yeah, you're too He's, buff. Yeah. Making me feel weird. Right. It's like when they say, like, in a job interview, and you're like, I I work too hard. Yeah. And you're like, what's your negative? And it's like, I work too hard. Yeah. This, Lorenz is being nice. Yeah. Sex appeal overall, about a 7.5. Thank you. All right, Rachel, what do you think? I mean, this guy is, <clears throat> like, the most Chad-looking dude I've ever seen. I know I'm doing exactly what we're not supposed to be doing right now, judging their appearance. But, I mean, this guy's the most Chad-looking guy I've ever seen in my entire life. He just looks like Abercrombie. Like, he just looks <laughs> just, like Mr. Just this is Abercrombie? Abercrombie? Just Jeff Abercrombie. <laughs> Who's Fitch? The girl from before. <laughs> okay. I think you've got um, great eyes. You've got great face. So I'll give you a nine there. Your body, you give a five because I think you're way too muscular. Like I said, it's too ape yeah. gorilla looking. Oh, my God. Jesus. Oh, my God. They're relentless. Too he ape clearly, gorilla. clearly, like... Like, worked out and, like, wanted to look his best. And maybe he worked out a lot and it's a little bit muscular, but, like... I wouldn't say he looks like an, a gorilla. Yeah, like, reel it in. I think it's just too much. Um, he's pissed. He's roid rage. You know what? Fuck you guys! I'm out of here! I am hot! <laughs> Your sex appeal is probably, I would say, a seven. I want to fuck you. Like, I would fuck you, but I wouldn't like it that much. Yeah. It'd be like getting fucked by a gorilla. <laughs> How about scores? Yeah, the face great. 8.5. Body, 7.5. I gotta take it off. The skinny legs don't match the, uh, <laughs> the top. Overall, sex appeal, a six. A six. Sean, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so we've seen, we've seen like, a lot of the show, but one of the craziest things is that before they do, it's like American Idol f uh, formatted. So like before they get to the stage, they go through like local judging in every single like zone, hot zone. Okay. And all the judges try to be Simon Cowell basically. Okay. And are like Weird. too mean to them in like a private room. First out of the shoot, down south Georgia girl, Marissa Rhodes. You have a great smile. Thank you. You're so nice today, Lauren. But nice was short lived when Lawson Digby hit the turntable. Just look at me. I am flawless. <laughs> As you'll soon see, I have uh, no competition whatsoever. You're really cocky, which is a little bit of a turn off. You better be able to back it up. Oh, I'll be, I'll be ba back it up. Uh, 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 yeah, you better not talk too no. much either. <laughs> oh, well, Lorenz. <laughs> all right, all right, Lorenz. I don't know. Lorenz. You're kind of losing us here, yeah, dude. You're don't, losing don't, us. Don't. <laughs> bah, 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 bah. Yeah, no, you better not. You better shut the fuck up, also, before I fucking. Do you know who the fuck I am? Okay, I'm Lorenzo Lamas. Lamas, fuck. Now, I don't know what color shirt that is. I've never seen that color before in my life. I hope I never see that color again. Oh my god, Lorenzo is fucking on one right now. Lorenzo Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes a little close set. Um, I don't know what you can do about that. Did you hear what he said? He said the eyes are too close set. I don't know what you can do about that. <laughs> I don't know. Do they even have a procedure for that? Or are you just fucking stuck like that the, your whole life? Jesus Christ. I don't want to like send him into therapy for 10 years. Uh, I, think, I think you're a little late. I think you might have done being that. Being on this show, big, yeah, big guy. Yeah. But Butter Jones wasn't about to melt under the judge's hot glare. Are you a stripper? No, I'm a rapper. You better wrap yourself into a looser dress. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is horrific. <laughs> like, this is actually <laughs> the, the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. First of all, just to be like, are you a stripper? Like, I know. And then 
You better wrap yourself into a bigger <laughs> dress. This is what I like. I think my big thighs make me sexy. And everybody out there is so puny. And it's not about the size, it's about how you work it. You, my dear, are a pocket Venus. I think you are one sexy animal. This is so a pocket creepy. penis? No, a pocket penis. <laughs> you, you, my friend, you, my are, friend a are a pocket, pocket penis. penis. No, he said pocket Venus. Like, I don't know, out of this world or something? I don't know. This is so creepy. This is so creepy. Just fucking goddamn. See, that's what I'm talking about. We are definitely smashing after the show, <laughs> for sure. You, my friend, have beautiful jugs. <laughs> I hate it. I don't even know what to say. I'm just nervous laughing. <laughs> she had that little farm girl thing going. I know you just want to get in the barn with her. I need a cold shower. These guys are fucking pigs. <laughs> This is disgusting. Less makeup would make you look less dirty. <laughs> less dirty? What the fuck? This is so bad. I lit I don't even know what else to say besides this is so bad. And I just keep saying that over and over again because this is actually terrible. But I could watch this forever. <laughs> is that bad? It's. I'm having so much fun it, right now. Yeah. It's so bad. It's awful. It show should not exist. Never. But I'm really happy to be watching it right now. Okay. Some contestants lashed back backstage. Did you get those big boobs because you thought you needed to match your behind? Yeah. I, I would have gone with a reduction, but probably not an implant. What? Okay. This show, I mean, this show is fucking crazy. It's awful. It's depressing. I'm actually at a loss for words. Me too. That's what I said. Like, I don't, I actually don't know what else to say. For this video, I just wanted to be like, here's the show. Okay. This is what it's about. Intro. Can't believe this actually existed. Yeah. Uh, I didn't actually realize how crazy it gets. Like, when she said, wear less makeup, you'll look less dirty. It's awful. <laughs> like, that's like fucking brutal. This is so next, horrendous. But we'll do a next episode, and we'll, we'll figure out who wins, okay? Oh, jeez, I can't wait. <laughs> okay. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you guys. You're all beautiful. Yes. Every, we're all... Yeah. We're all just fine. Yeah. I'm going to go cry. You're hot. I would vote you hot. I would vote you hot as well. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Bye.